This question puzzles many scientists. What if we could use our brain at its 100% capacity? The common misconception is that we only utilize 10% of our brain's power, as depicted in movies like Lucy and Limitless, where characters initially tap into a small portion of their brain, but after taking a certain drug, they unlock its full potential. Our brain is complex, and scientists often consider the 10% theory, which is a myth, because brain scans show continuous activity throughout its various regions, even when we are not actively engaged. This suggests that, we utilize our brain's capacity entirely on a physical level. However, the idea that we only use 10% of our brain's capacity is attractive and popular, which leads many to capitalize on this misconception. Some motivational speakers and educators sometimes perpetuate the 10% myth without any knowledge just for inspirational purposes. There are no magic drugs that can make us limitless or super genius. There are certain chemicals and drugs known as nootropics that claim to enhance memory processing power and alertness. Examples include caffeine in coffee, which can boost energy and motivation temporarily. However, relying excessively on substances like coffee can lead to increased cortisol levels, which can cause stress and burnout. Rather than seeking special brain drugs, a more effective and healthy approach to boost brain power is altruistic behavior. Altruism activates our dopamine systems and contributes to overall brain health. Contrary to evolutionary debates, altruism is paradoxically essential for both individual and group survival. Focusing on activities like reading, problem solving, and practicing is a more constructive way to enhance your brain's power than fixating on the idea of using 100% of it. So the idea that we only use 10% of our brains is a myth. In reality, different areas of the brain have specific functions, and we use virtually all of our brain throughout the day. The myth likely originated from misinterpretations of neurological research. Comment below how much you use your brain, and subscribe our channel for more informative videos.